All right, Notre Dame fans, we are back with another edition of Wapu Wednesdays, as always, brought to you by Augie's Locker Room. And I'll do a quick plug myself really quick. I actually stopped into Augie's Locker Room this week on Monday just to check it out. It was actually my first time popping in there. So I'm always asking our guests what it's like to go into Augie's Locker Room and what their favorite part about it is. I got to see it for myself, and I'll just plug it myself. Like I said, really cool place, a lot of awesome Notre Dame memorabilia. You guys would be just completely dumbfounded at some of the stuff that Augie has in there. A lot of really cool things to look at, a lot of really cool things to buy. So without further ado, we'll uh, br- we'll mention who our next guest is. It's Cole Capen, a senior quarterback, uh, a guy who is a pretty important player on this team for a lot of reasons. We'll get to that. But first, Cole, it's awesome to have you, and thanks for joining us. How are you doing? Thank you for having me. Um, you know, recruiting, Notre Dame has a national footprint. Everybody knows that brings in a lot of guys from a lot of different areas, but uh, not too many guys from Orange, Cali- Orange County, California. How did you get to Notre Dame? What was that process like? And what ultimately led you to make the decision to become Notre Dame Fighting Irish football player? Well, um, as long as I can remember, I've been a Notre Dame fan. I grew up... Uh, My dad is from Fort Wayne, Indiana. He lived here for a couple years before he moved to California. So on that side of the family, there's a Indiana tie. And then my mom's brother actually married into an Irish Catholic family and they were all Notre Dame fans as well. So all my childhood, I've been a Notre Dame fan. I had a um, Jimmy Clausen jersey growing up. I went to my first game in 2010. And so I've always wanted to come here. And so that's when I got in um, after applying and I got the opportunity to play on the football team. It's just kind of worked, it's well, worked itself out. Yeah, a lot of times it's all in the family and it, you know, it starts by rooting for the Fighting Irish growing up, so I'm not surprised by that. Uh, some people may know you as the head signaler on the sidelines for Notre Dame, so definitely really interested on, in how that comes about. You know, is, is there almost like a tryout process in practice or does, do the coaching staff come up to you and say, hey, we think you'd be good for this position? Uh, how did you become the head signaler and what has that been like? Um, well, there's some different paths to it, I guess, but for my particular path, it's always since before I was here, it's kind of been the walk on quarterback's job. So when I got here, it was Nolan Henry for two years. And then I did it last year with JD Carney. And then I'm doing it this year with another walk on wide receiver, Greg Maley. So um, I just kind of knew what my role was going to be once I got here. Cause I've had a lot of injuries. I wasn't necessarily looking to play. I just like to be a part of the team and make an impact any way I could. And uh, so I hung around Nolan a lot, learned the signals. And then being in the quarterback room has made it a lot easier for me because I was there when Coach Reese installed the new offense and was able to make signals as we went instead of doing it all on the back end. Yeah, you mentioned Coach Reese. How cool has that been for your offensive coordinator, a guy that you report directly to in your position group, obviously, is a Notre Dame, you know, alum, a former starting quarterback for the Fighting Irish. And uh, obviously he's got a lot of tidbits and is able to kind of relate to you all in that way that he's, you know, been in your shoes before. Yeah, I think it's I think it's huge. When he was just our quarterback coach, it was just as awesome. And I know he helped Ian a lot with because he lived the same life that he did for the most part. He was a quarterback under Coach Kelly and knows the pressure that goes with Notre Dame, knows the big stage and knows what to do there. And he's helped all the quarterbacks that have come through here. So when he got hired as offense coordinator, I was definitely happy because he has a great relationship with all of us. And he has just great experience and great um, life lessons that we all can learn from. I want to get back to one more thing on the signaling. What does a, you know, a, a week in the life of Cole Capen look like Obviously, the starting quarterback, that, that's a little different role. He's out there on the field going through a bunch of reps. But for you, how many reps are you actually taking in out on the field? Or is it more um, what we see on the sideline with you wearing the, the colored hat and doing all the funny motions and whatnot out to the field? Is that what your practice week looks like, too? Yeah, for the most part, that's um, that's what it looks like. I go through all the same meetings and everything, obviously. And then before every practice, I'll get our script for that practice see what new calls we have, make a new signal for it, and just kind of like base it off of what um, a word looks like and what I can do with it. And then if it looks like any other old signal, try to make something new that'll stand out, that'll resonate with the players. And then during practice, I just mostly signal. I do a couple things here and there to help the team where like Tyler, Drew, and Jack have to do some other things. 
I can go do like handoffs and inside run type of deals just th so they can throw and stuff like that. But that's basically it. How stressful is it that it's kind of on your shoulders to come up with those signals and uh, hand signs, words, cues, whatever it may be, it, it kind of falls on you. Yeah, I mean, it's not, people ask me that a lot. It's not really that stressful nowadays for me. I think a little bit more last year when I was just starting and doing it. But at the same time, it's been a lot easier for me since I've literally made almost all of them. Like there's a few that have stuck through since even like every once in a while, there's a signal that was the same as when Coach Reese was a player here. So there's a couple that stick through, but for the most part of the new offense, I've made them all. So that's kind of like second nature for me. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, what what has been your favorite moment since you've been at Notre Dame, whether it's a game, maybe it's a, a practice moment that you'll always remember. I'm sure something sticks out. You've been here for a few years now. When you think about your time at Notre Dame, what is it that kind of comes to mind? I, yeah, I mean, there's been a lot of good moments with the guys and doing kinds of stuff like that. But Clemson last year has to stick out at home. It was an unreal game. Um, from the get-go, we scored off our second play, I think, and then just it was just obviously double overtime. We won. Everyone charged the field. It was yeah, it was one of the best days of my life for sure, and it's it's hard to pass that one up as the top. Yeah, I wasn't even covering Notre Dame yet, but even as someone many miles away, very cool to watch that on TV. Yeah. I'm sure it was even more awesome in person. Uh, just like we do with everybody else that we bring on here. Love to get to know what you're doing off the field as well. Obviously, Notre Dame is more than just a football school. It's an awesome academic institution as well. So what are you studying and what would you like to do once football's over? Yeah, so I'm graduating uh, in December with a degree in business analytics. And then next year I've applied to some schools. I'm either going to go to um, graduate school for international affairs or a law school with a concentration in that kind of international realm. So that's kind of the area I want to work through, work through like public policy, um, security studies, that type of deal. Well, very awesome. Good luck with all that. And, and I'm sure you'll do great in whatever path uh, you choose to go down. But before we get you out of here, one thing that we also like to ask everybody that comes on here is just how cool of a place is Augie's locker room. I know it's an awesome deal that uh, Wapu Nation has been able to strike up with Augie's. And I mentioned how cool of a place it is to go in. Uh, I'm sure you've been there a few times as well. So what is it about Augie's that makes it so special? And, and what can you tell the watchers about it? Yeah, as a lifelong Notre Dame fan, going into Augie's and seeing all the cool memorabilia is it's truly one of a kind. It's a really great place to go look through and get some stuff. And now that they got the Wapu gear, you got to go check it out and see what good stuff they got. Yeah, I've got one of those shirts for myself as well. So can't wait to wrap that around South Bend. Cole, again, thanks for joining us, man. And uh, good luck with your signaling this week against Navy. <laughs> Yeah, thank you very much.